Well, hello everyone. This is Mary Teresa Duggan, and I am a trained teacher, a certified breath practitioner, and the author of a book titled Miracles, the Magic of Life, showing the power of the breath and how it can transform anything that people want to change in their lives, whether it's an issue to do with health, or relationships, or money, or spiritual awareness and meditation, inspiring you to live and radiate your true self, to live and radiate your divinity. And now I'm going to give you the greatest gift by introducing you to a world-renowned leader, teacher, preacher, trainer, mentor, and the author of eight books. His latest book is The Power of Being Present. And he has done extensive research and study and he only writes what he believes and lives. When I was experiencing the uh, year one of his training in breath integration and conscious connected breathing, I really thought there was nothing else, there was nothing that could be as good as this. Well, the year two was better than that. That was the advanced level. And then, would you believe it, but year three was even better again. And that was the certified level. And it was only with a strict review from a panel that we were permitted to become certified breath practitioners. And then, of course, we, had, we do refresher courses every year to keep in touch and up to date with our clients and their 10-week program. So now I have the greatest pleasure and joy of introducing you to Colin Sisson. Colin, would you please come and join us? Hello, Mary. Hello, Colin. Great to see you. It's a great joy to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Well, Colin, with all the experiences that you have and all your webinars and seminars and working in other countries, when you hear the words fullness of life, what does that mean for you? Well, of course, it means many things to different people. But for me personally, I think it's living life to the full in, in the power of being present in the here and now. And when I talk about the here and now, many people think that they do experience the present moment, but in actual fact, most people live in their heads, in their intellect. And the intellect is, is programmed to either be in the future or the past. So in actual fact, while we're working in the intellect, it's very, it's in fact, it's impossible to experience the purity of the present moment. And that has been the greatest discovery of all the years that I've been researching and working, which is now over 30 years. I found that the power of presence which, of course, is activated through breathing, is the greatest discovery of my whole life. And you've taught that so well, Colin. You teach mm. it to everybody, everywhere you go. You teach it so well. Um, do you believe, I feel, Colin, that when we read a book or when we hear somebody talking, that's not our answer. They can inspire us to go mm. within and find our own answer. Mm, yes, the, absolutely. Because the answer to every real question is deep within ourselves. Is that absolutely. what you think? Yes. I just yes. love that, Colin, and we can find it there. But it's, what would you say, like, if somebody came to you, Colin, and um, they had issues, or if they came to you at all, how would you handle them? How would, what would you do? Well, first of all, after discussing briefly what their problem was, which is actually the least important thing, is the next question I would ask them is, what do they feel? And when I started to work with their feelings, because I think, see, feelings never lie. Our intellect is full of untruths, 
based on ideologies, based on what we've learned and what we believe in, whereas the emotions always tell the truth of the state of our being. So when I find out what they feel, then I bring them into their bodies. Where do you, whereabouts do you feel that in your body? Because all emotions are held in the body. And then by breathing and then coming into the body with their feelings, they start to enter the present moment. And why the present moment is so important, because in the here and now, there is no judgments, there are no beliefs, there's no ideologies, and there's no fear. There's just the purity of the flow of consciousness. And of course, fear is held in the body by resistance. And resistance is created by faulty beliefs, by um, my own judgments about my own reality. And this creates a resistance in me. And this is the only thing that our fear is held. So as soon as people start to come into the present moment, this resistance gets dissolved thanks to breathing. And of course, the fear just falls out of the body and they're free. And it's so miraculous, so simple, I'm surprised that more people uh, haven't thought of it themselves. Yes, that's a marvellous explanation, Colin. And you know, I often think, Colin, too, that um, listening and talking is so good, but it's only when, they, when, when we get there, when we, we do it with a practitioner, um, and, and we actually show the people how to get in touch with that. Yes. Do, you even taught us that you don't even have to always know what the fear is. Sometimes we do. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. In fact, often knowing what the fear is and analyzing the fear actually takes us out of the process and into our heads. Yes. And, of course, that then the, the whole process comes to a stop. So I really want to get people out of their heads. And a lot of people, this is their biggest fear, is actually to get out of their heads, to come into their feelings, come into their body. Because when they start working at this level, of course, the fear is just released from the body without any technique, without any special knowledge, just by simply being present with their breath and with their feelings and those feelings in the body. It's so simple and yet so powerful. That's what I love so much, Colin. It is so simple. Yes. We, we don't have to be, you know, we don't have to know a whole lot. We just right. need to use the breath and it teaches us. Colin, yes. can you ever remember a time when you in your own personal life didn't feel that fullness of life? Oh, yes. Well, because I served in Vietnam during the war and I came back from that experience totally destroyed physically, mentally and emotionally. And for the next 15 years, I was either depressed or drunk. And, um, and then when I discovered meditation and then I discovered breath work, that's when the transformation began to happen in my life. And 10 years later, I was actually had mastered the process, developed my own process, which I call breath integration, and I've been teaching that ever since. And that, yeah, so yeah, I, I'd say that after Vietnam, for those 15 years were the worst time of my life, though I had no fullness at all. I was escaping my feelings through alcohol and through depression, and it was just how amazing how even no matter how far down you feel, there's, there's a way of coming back, coming back to our own fullness. That's a wonderful lesson for everybody to know, Colin, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's just amazing. So what are you most excited about right now? Well, I'm actually excited about my life. Uh, my life has never been better. I have the freedom of traveling around the world, meeting new people. And, um, and I, I also find that when you start living more in the present moment and you release these fears, it actually attracts money into your life. So I attract everything I need to, 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 to give myself more fullness. I have lots of people who love me that I love, and I have travel. I have everything I ever wanted is actually happening now. This is the best time of my life, and each year it gets better and better. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine next year is going to be better than this year, but based on all my previous years, each year has got better. So I'm really excited about what possibly is going to happen next year. That's exactly how I feel, Colin. I just feel age is only a number. You know, it's, yeah. it's, life is just so wonderful right now. Living yeah. this moment now, Colin, that is just amazing. So, so Colin, is there anything else you want to, your listeners to know? 
Well, they're most welcome to visit my website, which is colinsisson.com. And that I have a lot of explanations of where my workshops are and and what type of workshops that I run. That's colinsisson.com. Uh, and that would probably give a, a great explanation of, of my work because here I can only just touch on uh, the most important things. But the website does explain uh, more in detail of what I'm on about. So, uh, But I think that people should just trust what they feel, trust their bodies, because this is a part of them that never lies. And when they start coming in and feeling this fullness inside themselves, then of course they release what really is inside them, which is of course creativity, inspiration, and intuition. This is the, the these miraculous powers that we have within ourselves that you spoke about when we first, first started talking. But yes, once we start to come into the present moment, creativity, inspiration, intuition, this is our true power that we can express our fullness onto the, onto the world. That, that is an, an incredible lesson to learn, Colin. And you, you're teaching this in many different countries, aren't you? Yes. I loved it when I heard you say that you're teaching it to people and they in turn teach it to the people of their own country in their own language. Yes, yes. And yeah. that, must have been a, that must be an experience in itself. Indeed, and it's a great pleasure to see different cultures, Japanese, Russian, Polish, English, American, and Estonian, and to see these different cultures and to see them using this information in their own culture, it's very satisfying for me. Oh, it is, but you've got such a powerful message to help to help people in all walks of life, Colin. That's the other great thing, isn't it? That the yeah. breath is there. It's been there since the beginning of time, and it's there yeah. for everybody who breathes, isn't it? Exactly. Yes, Absolutely. yes. Well, Colin, I really, really appreciate your time and effort, and the message you've given out to the world is just so powerful. I do hope thousands and thousands and even millions of people will hear that message, Colin. So many, many thanks. Thank you, Mary, and it's lovely to see you again. <laughs> yes.